All right, guys, we're back for the next update. It's uh, 4 p.m. on Saturday is the Baja 500 coverage on Fishistics. This is hour of coverage presented by Baja Racing Supply. Go check out BajaRacingSupply.com. Get all the parts for your pre-runners, your race trucks, your daily drivers, uh, everything. They sell shocks, Zeus tabs, wheels, tires, lights, uh, all kinds of stuff. Go check out uh, BajaRacingSupply.com to get some parts and uh, go buy from them. Buy from the people that support us and that help us give you this coverage. All right, let's go look at the uh, tracking. We got some stuff to tell you about now. So on the trackers, Rob McCachran is still in the front, but he is not winning on time. He is actually losing. We uh, just got some splits, and this is actual split times right here, right where Dan is, at mile 370, right at this corner right here. Uh, Rob McCachran came through. And then 10 minutes behind Rob McCachran was the number six, Larry Connor. Well, Larry Connor started 14 minutes behind Rob McCachran. So at mile 370, the number six of Larry Connor is actually winning the race by four minutes on corrected time. So I knew earlier that this number six was picking up the pace and going to be the one to watch. And sure enough, right now they are winning the race by four minutes on time. So that's uh, Ricky Johnson driving the number six there. So thanks to uh, Richard Bruce for giving us that uh, time split down there. So it was pretty cool um, that we found that out. The uh, second place car is going to be Luke McMillan. Uh, he's actually beating Rob on time. Luke was 30 seconds behind him, and Luke started two minutes behind Rob. So Luke is actually second place on time. So it's going to be the number six, and then the 83, and then the 11. And then the 32 may be beating the 11, but it was really close, so we're not sure. We didn't get a time split on the 32. So definitely um, uh, keep up on the uh, time splits at the end. This is what it's going to come down to. Uh, so we're going to have to check in a little later and see. Hopefully we got some more people along the beach that will give us some actual physical time splits because looking at the trackers, it's going to be hard to tell who wins. Uh, anyways, uh, Epdali we got to keep an eye on him, too, because he's making up some time. He's coming from the back. We'll have to maybe we can get a time split on what time he comes through here. I'll try to get that for you guys at the next uh, update. Let me actually uh, let me make sure they get us a uh, time split. Hang on one second here. Time split on Epdali. All right, we got a message in. So hopefully we get a um, we'll get a time split on uh, on the one. All right, so we got the 15, the 4, the 10, the 77. We got a whole bunch here. BJ Baldwin's still going good. Um, all these guys have been having just coming along all day. Robbie is still coming good. He's uh, he started back a ways, but he's, he lost a little bit of time uh, in this section. I'm kind of surprised. I thought Robbie would have made up a little bit of time here, but uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, Andy has had a couple flat tires. That's why Andy uh, has uh, um, Andy's lost some time. Uh, so he's had some issues, but hopefully he can uh, have a clean run from here on in and maybe give him a shot for the, from here on in. Let's go look at some of the other classes for you guys. Let's see. Uh, I got a split for 15 too. I don't, I'll try to get a split for 15 also. No problem, guys. We'll see what we can do for you. Uh, let's go look at class one. So the first class one is right here. It is still the Wilsons. Brian Wilson's out front. And then Justin Davis is the second class one, followed by Brandon Bailey. And then uh, this is your first uh, spec truck right here, 242. They've been out front all day, so they are uh, still hanging out here. We will uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. Uh, some of the other spec trucks are just making their way up uh, through the mics. And 153, Brad Wilson, he's dropped back a little bit. Uh, I think Brad might have had a couple of little issues or whoever was in the car because they, uh, they lost some time and dropped back a little bit. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens with them the rest of the way. Let's go look at some other classes. Let's get this thing on a better screen for you guys here. And it goes by class. Let's go look at the um, class tens. So the first class ten is right here, the ten twenty three. Brock Dickerson. He is uh, he's leading physically. Then you got the ten seventy eight Cody Reed. All right, they picked it back up. Remember these guys had lost some time and were back a little ways. Uh, they picked it back up. They're back up to second place now. Dave Mason Jr. is uh, is there. We got, uh, let's see if Harley got in yet. Where's the 1008? Did the 1008 come by here yet? Oh, 1008's over here. They, uh, they're they still back a little ways. So we'll have to, uh, let's refresh this. There we go. All right, the 1008's right there. They're about to get in. 
So there, uh, Harley's about to get in and take over that one. They are back a ways though from up here, so I don't know if they're going to be able to catch up or not, at least for the win or not. All right, let's see what other class, what other classes do you guys want to see? Let's. Where's the? What is that? Class seven. We could show them real quick. They're back a little ways. So we got uh, Jeff Proctor, uh, Carlos Diaz. Don't mind this one. He's going the other direction, so he's not in second. Jeff Proctor is still leading. Uh, Pat Daly is getting in the truck right now. So he's getting in and going to take over for Jeff to do the rest of uh, that way. And then uh, Dan Shamley is still in second. And uh, Mike Perez is in third. All right, so you guys might see Brandon Walsh here. He was on the highway right here. This is a shortcut where if everyone in your class agrees, you're allowed to take the shortcut. Well, Brandon Walsh is the only one in his class. So I guess he decided to take the shortcut. So he was actually right here at check one. And he got on the highway and cut over and got in front of the 717 here and almost caught up to the other seven guys. But he is still going and that is legal. However, he did not do the top loop. So he's legal and he'll get a you know a finish still or whatever if he makes it. But that's why he looks like he made up some time. He really didn't make up all that time. He just uh, cut over on the highway right here and got back on the course. So that's what's going on there. Let's see, you guys want to see class five? All right, class five. There's the leader right there in that same spot, Mark McNeil. And then second place is Ben Swift. Uh, it looks like Ben Swift has actually made a pass. He was in third. Um, so he's passed the 527, or they're right on top of each other. But he definitely closed the gap. So we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on those guys for you. Some of these other ones are going to be the 516 uh, cars, too. Let's see if we show this later only. There you go. So the winner in that class, or the leader in that class right now is 582, followed by the 562. So that hasn't changed that much today. So what other class do you guys want to see? Maybe one or two more for this update. Let's go look back at the leaders again real quick. So uh, let's see. All right. Here we go. Now they're starting to turn away. They just passed Colinette. They're turning in, or they're headed up towards Colinette. They're going to turn away from the beach for a little bit. We've got Rob Mack, Mel 392, 391.3. Luke, he's right behind him. And then there's that number six still coming along. So the number six is actually winning the race right now, if you guys missed it earlier. The number six was winning by four minutes, corrected time a little bit ago. And he's had a couple flats. Um, he's definitely not off the pace with flats. He's actually, for, the, for having flats, he's still doing pretty good right there. So hopefully he can have a clean run the rest of the way. Larry Rossler is driving the Dan McMillan truck. So that's the uh, that's who's in Dan McMillan's truck now. They're hanging in there. We'll see uh, if we can get some split times on those guys for you. So I think that's about it for this hour. We will uh, we'll be back at 5 o'clock with some more updates for you guys. We'll, if we get any other time splits, we'll let you know. Keep an eye on that number 6. That truck's the truck to beat right now. They have 4 minutes on Rob Mack. Uh, and there's some more four-wheel drive friendly sections coming up too. So this might be a uh, good race for them. We'll see you guys at uh, 5 o'clock and see who's in the lead then.